Well, I would go to bed. I always wore a lot of rings, and I would wake up in the morning, and my rings would be scattered throughout my room, or sometimes they would be stacked up in the middle of my bed all together. The attic room was not finished out. And when we moved in there, there was latch hooks on every single door, and you locked yourself in, supposedly locking the ghost out. <laughs> in fact, my first ex-husband stayed in the house one time, and he slept in the, in the bottom part. He swore he'd never in the night there again. He was afraid. I think it picks and choose who it liked and who it did it. Uh, J.R. Harrell, he will not, he wouldn't set foot in the house. In fact, he spent the night there in my room and woke up with a black eye and a bloody nose. Now, you say it. Who do you think this is the ghost of, or what do you think it is? My mom told me yesterday that she believes it's a child, okay. like a teenager or... 11, 12 year old child. No proof of that. There's, there's just, uh, I don't know where my mom got that. Probably from the Harold family. And I think it might be a girl because it really had a fascination with my ring. And Keela, who lived in the house in the 80s, and the current resident, Debbie, both said they have experienced trembling in the floor in the kitchen. It's like a tremble. It's like your feet start kind of trembled. The kitchen, you know, my mom had a baby shower or a wedding shower at the house. They were talking about the ghost. This one lady said she didn't believe it. The coffee pot just started overflowing. And then my mom, right by the sink, she had this little wall there that had three little plaques. And this, the coffee pot started overflowing and the plaques jumped off the wall. Yeah, that lady didn't come back. <laughs> did you ever go down in the basement when you were a kid? I did once. I didn't like it. Debbie, you told me something really interesting about this house because you're from Arlington. I said, why this house? Why Abernathy? Tell us why. Well, we were looking at space for our kids and our dogs, and when I was a little girl, I used to draw like my, my dream home. And this house is exactly that, from the curved porch to the nooks and crannies. That are t it's just an amazing place, and I felt like it was calling to us. So we're here. My son heard that you guys were here, and he's like, oh, yeah, tell him I was walking down the stairs the other day and saw a face poking around the corner. And he's like, I should have freaked me out, but I didn't. In the evening, because okay. he was coming down, I pray for the spirits, if there is such one. You know, I heard the stories, and I prayed for them. I heard there was a murder of a little girl in the house, and and, and then I had heard it was haunted right after I got the keys. The youngest one has said he's woken up and seen eyeballs on the ceiling. It's in a new wing. Okay. And the older one... Nobody will sleep in that room. It was in the main kitchen. And a couple of times when we first moved in, I would start to feel real, like the room would vibrate. And I'd feel kind of shaky. And then I got a kind of a sense that, and this is weird, but I got a sense that maybe it was an underground railroad stop kind of feeling to it. 